Hello, Year 4. You need to get out your times table practice booklet and turn to test number three. OK, so we're doing our nine times table and we're doing test number three. OK, so get your pencils out and I'm going to set up the timer. I'm going to give you two minutes. So let me find the timer. OK, your two minutes starts now. OK, your time's up. So if you get your blue pens out of your pencil cases, I will read through the answers for you. Now, my class know I often make a mistake when I'm doing this. So if you think, oh, that's not quite right, just ask somebody at home to check your answer because you might have got the right answer and I might be wrong. OK, we'll start at the top then. So nine times five is 45. Four times nine is 36. 27 divided by 3 is 9. 9 times 4 is 36. 5 times 9 is 45. 9 times 6 is 54. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 3 times 9 is 27. 9 times 3 is 27. 5 times 9 is 45. 45 divided by 9 is 5. 9 times 3 is 27. 4 times 9 is 36. 36 divided by 9 is 4. 3 times 9 is 27. 54 divided by 6 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 9 times 2 is 18. 9 times 6 is 54. And 6 times 9 is 54. Okay, so go to the net, the top of the next column. I'm going to carry on. 5 times 9 is 45. 9 times 3 is 27. 9 times 2 is 18. 5 times 9 is 45. Uh, 45 divided by 5 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27, 9 times 6 is 54, 36 divided by 4 is 9, 9 times 4 is 36, 2 times 9 is 18, 27 divided by 9 is 3, 9 times 4 is 36, 6 times 9 is 54, 4 times 9 is 36, 54 divided by 9 is 6, 2 times 9 is 18, 6 times 9 is 54, 9 times 5 is 45, 18 divided by 9 is 2, and 2 times 9 is 18. Now, if that was a bit too quick for you, you can pause the video and you can go back to it. But for now, I'm going to hand you over to Miss Martin for some counting stick action. Thank you, Miss Gad. 
Right, we're going to do the counting stick. Might end up being a little bit different because of you all being at home, but I still want you to have a go answering my questions to me and you can shout the answers out at your screen. Never know, magically, if you guys are all loud enough, we never might be able to hear you all the way from school. Right, so we're, of course, doing what times table? We're doing the nine times table. So one times nine is nine. So I'm going to put that on my counting stick right here to stop me off. Right. Have a think. If nine is over here, I've got 10 slots on my number line. What's going to come right at the end with nine times 10? And it's going to be 90. So let me get my 90. Right. If I've got nine here and I've got 90 at the end, it's going to come exactly in the middle on my number line. It's going to be 45. How many nines are 45? It says five, so I've got five times nine is 45. Right. I'm going back over here to my one times nine, which is nine. What's double nine? 18. So how many nines are 18? Two. We've got two times nine is 18. Right, you're going to tell me to stop on where I should put this on my number line. Oh, thank you, Miss Gad. So we've got nine, 18. What's double 18? Have a think on what is double 18. And it is 36. Well done. So how many nines is 36? Four nines is 36. So we've got four times nine is 36. So I'm going to put it just here on my number line. Now it's starting to get a little bit trickier because the numbers are going to get a bit bigger. Got 36. What is double 36? Give me time to have a little think and work it out. What is double 36? And it is, you can tell me, 72. Okay. It's double 36, 72. How many nines is 72? Eight, brilliant. Eight times nine is 72. So I'm going to put it round there on my number line. Right, so I've got a few of them filled in at the moment. Who can tell me what would end up going in this gap here? Because I go 9, 18. What will go in the gap here? Who can tell me? 27, brilliant. And how many nines is 27? Three. Three times nine is 27. So I'm going to put it on there. Right, so now I go 9, 18, 27, 36, 42. Who can tell me what comes, sorry, why am I saying 42? I've read that wrong. 45, who can tell me what comes after 45? Can you tell me what comes after 45? Yes, it is, 54. So if I'm going after 45, how many nines would be 54? Six, brilliant. Six times nine is... 54. So then we're going to go 54. Then what comes next? What's going to go here? And it will be 63. So how many nines is 63? Brilliant. Seven. Oh dear. Seven times nine is 63. I'm going to put that on my number line. Oh, I'm missing one more. I'm missing one more. What's going to end up going there? Because I go 72, then 81. So I'm going to put 81 on my number line and we've got nine nines is 81. OK, my number line's going up to 90. What would come next? Who can tell me what would end up coming next? Brent, it would be 99 and have a think. How many nines makes 99? Got 11, well done. And after 99, what will come after that? 108. So 12 times 9 is 108. Okay, we're going to count up together up and down the number line. My class know I'm very strict on this. You don't go faster than the finger. You have to stay in time with the finger. I'm going to join you for this one, okay? We've got 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90. Oh, who can tell me 
all of you, what will come next? 99, and after that, 108. Brilliant. Right, we're going to go back to here. Okay, it might be a bit slower this time. We're going to go back here. 90, 81, 72, 63, 54, 45, 36, 27, 18, 9. Oh, I've got to 9. Who can tell me what would come at the end of my number line here? And it would be 0, because anything times 0 is always 0. My class know that I say that all the time to them. Have a think. If there's zero, what would come for that one? What would come before zero would be minus nine. Okay? We're going to count up again, but this time I'm not going to set with you. You'll stay in time with the finger. So we're going to go nine, 14, 90. Brilliant. We're going to count down again, and again, I'll just only say a couple with you. 90. 45. 9. Then it would be 0. OK, we're going to leave this on the counting stick for today, and the next time we do this, we're going to end up taking some of them off to make it a bit trickier for you. Okay, I'm going to hand over to Miss Gad, who's now going to do the next test with you. OK, so you need your booklet. You've done test three. You're moving on to test four. So I'm just going to share the stopwatch with you again. And you're going to have two minutes. Let's see if you can beat your score, even if it's just by one. That's better than what it was. OK, so two minutes on the clock. Off you go. I'm going to do it as well. OK, blue pens ready. Let's go through the answers. OK, here we go then. So nine times three is 27. Three times nine is 27. 27 divided by nine is three. Two times nine is 18. Six times nine is 54. Nine times three is 27. Two times nine is 18. 18 divided by nine is two. 9 times 3 is 27, 6 times 9 is 54, 36 divided by 4 is 9, 
9 times 5 is 45, 9 times 4 is 36, 5 times 9 is 45, 2 times 9 is 18, 54 divided by 9 is 6, 5 times 9 is 45, 9 times 2 is 18, 45 divided by 9 is 5, 4 times 9 is 36. OK, moving on to the next column. 5 times 9 is 45, 9 times 5 is 45, 9 times 6 is 54, 18 divided by 2 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27, 2 times 9 is 18, 6 times 9 is 54, 27 divided by 3 is 9, 4 times 9 is 36, 9 times 5 is 45, 36 divided by 9 is 4, 9 times 6 is 54, 9 times 4 is 36, 4 times 9 is 36, 6 times 9 is 54, 9 times 4 is 36, 54 divided by 6 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, 3 times 9 is 27, and 5 times 9 is 45. OK, like I said, if I've got any wrong, just check with somebody in your house and they can check it for you. So add up your scores. Did you improve? How many more did you get right this time? I'm sure you've all done really, really well. So let me and Miss Martin and Miss Davidson know today when you email all your work across to us because we'd be really keen to see how you got on. OK, see you later.